Okay, uh, once again, you can't see much of the back, but that's alright, right? Anyway, before we go on, I want to show you all the secret goal. So, okay, well, this isn't good, I lost my ice power already. Okay, I got the third star coming back. What you want to do is around here. Oh, come on. Okay. It's near these fire rows. I think it's right there near the second one. Yeah, you'll see you'll see an additional platform right there. And actually, the first time I went through this level, I pointed it out. There's a red pipe right here. Jump into that red pipe. That is where the secret goal is. If you don't have firepower or anything, um, this passageway is filled with bats. At least you can see where they are because their eyes glow in the dark. Um, grab this little light thing, and if you don't have firepower or something, it's going to be a very tough time. Well, not really, but it might move more slow, because having power would help you. Alright. Let's get out of here. And we've returned to daylight. Nothing hidden up there. Hit the switch and a platform appears. Small one, but hey. Anyway, that's the secret goal of World 6 6. And it unlocks the cannon of World 6, which shoots you to World 8 just like the World 5 cannon does. Speaking of cannons, we've gone through the World 1 and 2 cannons to go to World 5, so now we'll go through the World 3 and 4 cannons to go to World 6. Crud. Looks like we're going to have to run into one of these guys. Oh, great. Gotcha. Alright, I got all of them. I didn't get hit. That's good. And unless we got three mushrooms out of it. Oh, great. There's another one. I'll have to sneak past him. And I go up here, which we uncovered a long time ago, and it's the World 3 Cannon. Once again, the coins are in the middle of the tree branches. And we've now been shot through half the cannons in the game. What do you know about that? To World 6. On New Super Mario Bros. the DS, it'll just say W in the number. It won't say the, it won't say the word world. I like how, the, how it kind of like, like gleams in the sky to let you know you've been shot. Kind of like in the Pokemon show. When, like, Team Rocket is shot into the sky, and you're like, we're blasting off again! Ding! <laughs> Love that. Okay, we stuck past the pufferfish guy. World 4 cannon. And if you haven't been shot through it, it'll be marked as uncleared course. And now the only two cannons we've been shot out of are the World 5 Cannon and World 6 Cannons, which both take you to World 8. So once we get to World 8, we'll go there. Two cannons shoot you to World 5, two to World 6, two to World 8, none to World 7, actually. And we're back in the canyon world. 
Cannons for cheaters only. Okay, anyway, where were we? Oh, yes. Now let's go up the steep little pillar thing called Mountain. <coughs> and now there's three different chances for a toad level here, so be careful. But anyway, let's go into the star house. Of course, if you uncovered the world 6-5 secret goal, you just take the pipe to the castle. I should mention, there are no toad houses in World 8. The only time a toad house will appear in World 8 is if you rescue a toad. Oh, we almost made it. Oh, wow, well, it's a couple bill bullet bills going to hurt us. Multiple platforms, okay. Just got one more. Huh, I think I noticed that only a few amount of bullet bills can be in the screen at one time. Mushrooms, yay! It's really annoying that it shoots out three at a time on that one. Yeah, so you can cut right from the lake instead of going up the the tallest cliff. Well, not the tallest cliff, but like the biggest one, the little spiral thingy. You can just go. Anyway, we've climbed to the top of the canyon. We've climbed to the top of the mountain, World 6. And let's go inside the castle. Oh, oh, look! Little anchor-shaped things that um, move around and one end dips in the lava. Yeah, get ice. make sure you have ice power in this level so you can freeze these poodaboos, number one. Yeah, they, the end of these things dip in lava, so that's, that can get annoying. I don't know what these are, little weights or something? If you want the first star coin, you're gonna have to jump on these bricks and get up there. Ah, come on! OMG! Get up there, Mario! Gosh! Thank you. Okay. My recommendation just freeze one of these guys and throw them. That way it'll get the star point for you, and you can just run across these one tile gaps. I knew it, there's one up in there, but I can't get it because it just killed itself in the lava. Okay, now you'll have these little spike ball things throughout the level. They can be annoying. Oh god, I almost died. Eventually it'll get off. Yep. Ah! Okay, second star coin is a little hard to get. You have to jump on the on the bricks, blocks. I did. Come on. Crud. Stupid thing. Just wait patient. Gotcha. Yeah, there's lots of little spike things in this level. All of which can annoy you to the ends of the earth. Jump up here and we finally got halfway. Pretty sure it's not a hidden block right there. There is a hidden block with an invincibility star in it somewhere in this part of the level. Okay, these little platforms you see over there, once the light, once the arrow turns light blue, it'll go down. So any spike bells on it will also go down and it'll annoy you. See, that, that one's going to make its way down or not. Once in the lava, they'll pretty much be killed. Ah, uh, crud! I think that's where the the hidden star block was, and now I can't get it. 
Yeah, I can really annoy the heck out of you. This, this part of the level. Ah! Let's wait till these guys go. Alright, only a little ways. Okay, these big, super huge dry bones can be frozen, but they immediately unfreeze. And you can ground pound them to stick to, like, kind of neutralize them and so they wind up in a heap of bones, like original dry bones would do. But eventually they will be put back together, so there's kind of hard to beat them, and yay, we get all the star coins. Now let's get out of here. Okay, hidden block right there so you can get your fire flower. Okay, now if you thought the fortress battle was a little tough, which it is, then you'll be relieved because this one's a little easier. Because the fortress battle might be a little tough, but the castle battle with Morton's easier. Go down this long, long hallway. Okay, what the annoying Magic Koopa does this time flies around, spreads his pretty rainbow magic, and... Yeah, depending on which pillar he ground pounds on, the two next to him will shoot up, so be careful not to be standing on one of them or you'll get, cr or you'll get crushed. And that can get pretty annoying. Yeah. See, like, even though it can kind of crush you if you're standing on it, it's still pretty easy to battle. Correct me if I'm wrong by commenting. It's amazing how the Koopalings just fall to the floor and go to who knows where. Let's get the key to get out of here. I mean, like, they fall to the floor, but where do they go? And the door opens. Alright, if you like the fact that Bowser Jr. got ditched in World 4, then you get to see it again. <laughs> I love that. Yes, once again, like in World 4, um, the airship kind of leaves without Bowser Jr. And they go, and these clouds just magically appear. And he runs after them. Making your second airship level. You get the ability to save. Anyway, so... Yeah. And just like World 4, once you clear the level, it'll be replaced by an anchor, and you can still go on the airship. What do you know? Board the airship, and the airship will take off. It's a total of three airship levels, and the last airship level, as you probably guess, is World 8. Yes, instead of a nice beach overlook... Um, you're greeted by a bunch of clouds, and what do you know, it's one of those annoying automatic scrolling levels. So try to keep up. And the Mecha Coopers are back. There's also, also in this level are Monty Moles that throw wrenches. They can be frozen or just plain stomped on. And these little annoying automatic moving things that kind of look like screws. Big, giant screws, and how did I not get hit by that? I will accept generosity. I do not think they can be killed by fire. I don't know about that. Anyway, I don't know if I mentioned this, but if you ground pound one of those boxes, you'll get a coin. If you want the second star coin, head down here, and I always take this path, so I don't know what's in that little area we miss. Yay, extra, extra life, not that we really needed one. Ah! See, there's the second star coin. Now 
let's get out of here. Gotcha. <laughs> I froze him. Alright, well. There's the checkpoint. Eight red coin challenge. Made harder with this stupid scrolling. Automatic scrolling. And we still got it. Eh, whatever. Leave him alone. And there's the third and final star coin. And you'll get your nice little applause. You can stand on top of them, though. The Monty Mole guys. Multi multiple coin block. Freeze that guy and make sure he falls off. Alright. Gotta make sure not to get hit by these wrenches. Now I think about it, that's the remake. In the in the Super Mario Bros. 3, that's what those old Monty Moles would do, was they would throw wrenches at you. Hidden one up. Second battle with Bowser Jr. This one's pretty interesting. It's like playing bumper cars. You get your own little clown car. Um, use the control pad to move around. Um, spin the Wii remote, shake the Wii remote to spin it. And you'll need to knock Bowser Jr. into those electrical fields three times to win. This is a very interesting level. Out of all three Bowser battles, I think this is my favorite. Now, in, if you're doing multiplayer, I do not know if each player gets their own car. Probably not. Oh, in this battle, he does not breathe fireballs. Like I said, I do not. This is my opportunities for playing multiplayer in this game are very, very rare. Anyway, it can get annoying just to spin them in. Gotcha. Alright, one more time. And now he's going to try more than ever, and if you touch the electric field in your little car, you will count as an enemy hit. Alright, that wasn't too hard. Take the player icon, depends on who's in the uh, clown car. And just like last time, Magic Koopa comes in to, his, to his aid, and the floor crashes in. And we fall in with it. Wow, what a nice way of kicking us off of your ship. See ya. Anyway, we're pretty much three quarters through the game, and World 7 is the Sky World. Maybe that's why the path to the airship was, a, was clouds, because the next world is Sky World. Anyway, the very last Koopaling, because the World 8 boss is not a Koopaling, because there's only seven Koopalings. The very last Koopaling of the bunch. I call him Blue Hippie, because just, his hair looks very weird, and he's blue. His name is Ludwig von Koopa. Kind of sounds French. And he has an annoying flutter kick ability, like Yoshi. No, Yoshi's isn't annoying, but let's just get a preview of the Sky World. Okay, first you'll start off from the sky, you have to get out, get in this pipe. Yeah, they want to give you fire flower in this level. Crud, man, that was close. Because there's a couple Ferranos. First star coin may be a little tricky to get. Once this purple thing is high enough, you'll want to wall kick off of the red pipe. Gotcha. Alright, one of these pipes is the path to the second star coin. It's a yellow pipe, I think. Yep, this pipe right here. Uh, the yellow pipe, the yellow pipe, the first yellow pipe after the flag. You want to go down it if you want the second star coin. 
It took me a while the first time to find that. Oh, they give you a helicopter. Okay, there's two alternating green platforms right there. And let's helicopter spin out of this pipe. Okay, this thing kind of spins, and that's why the blocks are kind of upside down-ish. Another Ferrana right there. Whew, that was close. Yeah, if you go down that pipe, getting a helicopter will make this level so much easier. And there's the third coin. And there's our ticket out of here, that pipe right there. Okay, now you can actually pass through these little stone pillars right here, but if you want a high point value, this is what I suggest you do. And what the heck, I'm sure I got time for one more level. After I get past this mushroom house. Um, I think this is actually the last mushroom house in the entire game. Because, like I said earlier, there are, no mu there are no toad houses in World A unless you rescue a toad. So get as many items as you can if you want to stock up for World A. Okay, we've got something. That's good. Ooh, a star. I don't know. Ah! Curse you, Bowser. One helicopter, one penguin suit for the final toad ha for the final mushroom house. Yeah, that right there, folks, was the final mushroom house. I hate to say it. There is the final one-up house, and depending on which one of these you go to first, is the final star house. So yeah, definitely stock up on your items. Let's go through World 7-2 real quick, which is on a raised platform on the map, and I really hate this level, because this is the only level in the entire game to have those little annoying dogs we call Chain Chomps. Okay, they'll jump around a little bit, then they'll attack at you the direction you're facing. Uh, fun fact, this is actually... Yeah, they'll even try to do that. Uh, you can swim through these little bubbles here. Yeah. Um, okay, if you stomp on a, on those yellow poles they're tied to, if you ground pound on them three times, they will run loose. And they will run loose, and once they're off screen, they're gone. For good. Uh, moving bullet bill cannons. Didn't mention that. Those can be annoying. And by the way, there's land down there. Okay. You'll need to hop. Crud. You'll need to hop on that guy's pole to get to the next area. Okay. Yeah. You'll you'll need to kind of. Let's uh, hope I can do this without dying. Crud, wrong way. Okay, what you want to do is make sure he's facing the right way, because you want af after he rose and runs loose, you want him to break through these bricks so you can get the first star coin. But I screwed up, so that did not happen. All right, just wait for that guy to go down. I hate these chain chops. Looks like there's an item right there. Nope. It's just a coin block. Man, that was close. <sighs> More of these stupid bullet bells. Okay, where is the first star coin? I thought it was near here. I must have missed it. 
Oh, oh, that's right. I, I did miss it. The second star coin. Really tricky. It's in between two of those freaking chain chomps. To make matters worse, they put little bubbles above you. Swim in the bubbles and get out of there. Oh, that's actually considered the last star coin. The second star coin is down this pipe, and the first star coin already explained how to get that. It's the second star coin is right there. Go right there, and you'll be rewarded with a helicopter. Nothing in there, and nothing in there. Anyway, yeah, kind of tricky to get that first star coin, considering this is a level full of those stupid chain chomps. Helicopter will kind of make this level easier, so you don't have to swim in those bubbles. All right, and that's World Seven Two. And that's really it.